Hello and welcome to this video and welcome to my cupboard. Yeah, I've done vlogs from weird places before, but in a cupboard like Harry Potter is probably one of the weirdest, but I think it's gonna be an interesting video. Now, we've got a new house and it is like literally brand new, which is awesome. Now, what I didn't realize about new build properties is sometimes they come with two fiber optic lines to them. And uh, yeah, I've got two fiber optic lines coming into this cupboard, which is in my living room. Um, so it's actually quite interesting and it's sort of almost like a little mini comms cupboard. So what I thought I'd do is show you what we've got in here and um, how it works and then sort of maybe talk about what I've got planned for this because this sort of big, a vast amount of wall could, um, could prove quite useful. So uh, what I do is I'll switch to another camera and uh, you can see what I can see. So uh, let's do that. So there is a fiber line that comes in from behind the wall and uh, it then plugs into their router. Now I've got this disconnected at the moment because I'm not actually with Hyper Optic. I'm actually locked into a contract with Sky and this is where their fiber comes in. So here we've got an open reach fiber modem and uh, yeah, there's a fiber connection. I think it is this, oh look, there we go, you can see. So the fiber is this green connection that comes in through the wall, that's the power supply. And this goes to my Sky router, which is there. So obviously I use Sky uh, for my fiber via the open reach modem, but I think pretty much any kind of normal any other provider like BT or Plusnet or anything else like that, they will send you their own router that will plug into the open reach modem. You won't get anything other than the hyper optic service through this line because they basically pay to install it and they don't lease it out to anyone at the moment. So yeah, this hyper optic fiber line is just exclusively for them. But OpenReach allow providers to use their fiber connection and the provider just has to provide the router. So yeah, and just it doesn't necessarily have to be Sky. It can literally be any fiber provider can use this OpenReach modem to plug into. And also I think that eliminates the need for passwords and stuff like that. So that should mean putting in my own router will actually be quite easy he says. We'll find out in another video. Now, um, you don't actually get a physical phone line installed now because it's all fiber. And you're probably wondering where the phone plugs in. Now, I don't actually own a normal phone, like a landline, but on the back of the Sky router, we have got a UK phone socket. So that is where your phone would plug in and the phone signal comes through the fiber and uh, yeah so you need to plug the open reach modem into port number four because that is the WAN port um, yeah so basically this acts as a modem and this just purely acts as a router so I think in the future I'm going to change this to a different router and I'll do a video about that um, but some other things that surprised me was this phone socket now, I don't really know what it does. Um, I don't know whether you can get a phone, an old style phone line put into the property, but in the living room and in the bedroom, there is actually uh, phone sockets like this. So I'm wondering if this sort of, you get a cable that connects from the back of the sky into there and then it, you, it splits around the house, maybe. I don't know. Um, if any of you do know, put it in the comments. And now here we've got some network connections. There are three of them. Uh, they're not actually labeled, which is a bit annoying, but there are two network points in the living room and one of them in the master bedroom. And it seems basically you plug into there and it links to one of the network points in the bedroom. Now. Unfortunately, it doesn't go to my office, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. So um, that is why I'm using this TP-Link power line adapter. So that basically plugs into the back of the Sky router and then takes the um, network 
connection through the power lines and uh, upstairs into my office. Now, maybe in future, I'd like to get the whole place kitted out in Cat 6, so you know that won't be necessary in future. But now, this TP-Link uh, power line adapter is actually pretty cool. So, I've also noticed there's a blanking plate here. I wonder if there's wires for an, another power outlet to go in there because I'm already running out of plugs in here and it's only gonna get worse. Should we just pop the cover off and have a little look? Okay. So, um, no, there's no, there's no additional power cables in there, which is annoying. But look, I think this is our fiber cable which goes into the back of the uh, hyper optic box. I suppose what I could do or get a more competent person is to fish down into this socket here and spur off that. That might be something for future expansion. But yeah, talking of future expansion, let's um, go back to the other camera and we'll talk about it. So I think my plan with this cupboard, well, certainly this wall, is to turn it into sort of like a comms cupboard properly. And I can put my Raspberry Pi in it with Home Assistant. I can put the Hue Hub in as well. And I can also put in a network switch so everything can sort of be split around the house. And yeah, eventually, as I say, I would like to get the whole house cat six and have it terminate in this cupboard, which is super handy because it's right in the middle of the house. And uh, yeah, I think that would work really well. The only problem is, is this sky router. Now it can't, I'd like to get this on the wall, but it doesn't actually seem to have any wall mountings. So that is the model SR203. I'll have to do some kind of investigating and see if there's some sort of bracket or something I can buy to um, put it on the wall because I don't really like it just sort of knocking about on top of a box and I don't really want to put a table in here. Everything else can be mounted on the wall. The Hue hub can be on there. The Raspberry Pi has got a, a screw mounting bracket so I can put it all nicely on the wall. But yeah, I need to do something with that Sky router. Although if I change it to a third party router, those are more likely to have wall fixings. I think the first job is going to be putting in the Hue hub and also the Raspberry Pi with the Home Assistant because I'm missing not having access to those. But yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll look for a little, uh, see if there's a bracket or something for this uh, Sky Hub. And if I find one, I'll uh, put a link to it in the description because I don't, I want that nicely on the wall. I think it'll look really nice. And actually, I need your help. If any of you have got any ideas how I can mount the cables onto the wall neatly, that would be really handy because, you know, I could snake them somehow and sort of put them all together. I don't really want to use Copex or anything like that. And those kind of sticky self-adhesive cable things, I don't know. I don't feel that they'll, they'll take the cable. So yeah, if you've got any good ideas about how I can mount the cables onto the wall, Oh, it's a, it's a block wall, so it's plasterboarded, dot and dabbed, and there's block work behind it, so, you know. I c but yeah, something that I can just get in the cables in and out, because I reckon this will change slightly as the house develops and I get more gear. So yeah, if you've got any good ideas on how to route the cables around, that would be really gratefully accepted. So yeah, that was a bit of a weird video, but you know, I know nerds like looking at this kind of stuff, and I was over the moon when I looked in this cupboard and saw that I've got two fiber connections coming into the house ready to use. And um, yeah, I think both of them can go to a gig and beyond. So that is awesome. Which means obviously I can upload content to you guys a lot faster. So uh, yeah, I think that is it for this video. Um, this is probably gonna be the last video I put out before Christmas. So I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. And also, I've gone over 8,000 subscribers, which is mental. So thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. If you don't subscribe to this channel, then please do. I think like 90% of people who watch my videos don't actually subscribe to the channel. And if you all did, I'd have a lot more than 8,000 subscribers. So if you've enjoyed this video or like some of my content, then please do make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications of when I publish a video. But 
Hope you have a wonderful Christmas and uh, I'll see you very soon. But for now, it's game over.